Doesn't she look like, oh, hey girl, hey. They're just all beautiful and I have freaking hair in my eye. I almost nip. That would be bad, the nip exfoliant. That would be really bad. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a super duper random haul. It is makeup and a little bit of fashion and just a little bit of home. Just like one home thing and then that's it. I think. So I'm gonna start with makeup. I guess I'll just start with Ulta because that's where I went first. So the first product I got, or two first two products I got were the It Cosmetics CC Your Skin But Better CC Cream SPF 50, which is freaking awesome for your pale skin because I like to wear SPF 5000. I think it stops working after like 30, but whatever. You can never be too sure when you're this pale. I got the big one in fair and then a little travel one in light just in case as summer progresses this is too light for my skin. Next thing I got from It Cosmetics as well was this Build a Brow. It is just a little, it reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Brow, what is it called? What are you called? The only thing I didn't like about the Anastasia Dip Brow was that all the colors, even the blonde color or the toe color or whatever colors they had were still, they were the too dark or they were too warm. I obviously have cool toned hair, so I wanted something that was going to be a cooler tone. So I got this gray color. I would say it's more of like a blondy gray, a natural gray, which is nice. Um, but it's definitely a cool tone. I'm wearing it on my brows today, if you can see. What else did I get from, oh, so I got the Stila Mind palette. It's the Eyes of the Window palette eyeshadow palettes they have a bunch of different I think they have like four of these or four, four or five of these ones and this is the mind palette oh my gosh oh my gosh and that color is just like bam this one is called perception and that is the color of life to me I think these are all matte in here I think this one is all matte and it's got warm and cool tones in it. And I'm just like, yeah, girl, yeah, girl, yeah, girl, yeah. Next thing at Ulta, last thing actually I got at Ulta. I think that's the last thing I got at Ulta, yes. Last thing I got at Ulta are these two CoverGirl lipsticks. I don't know if these are new or not. I don't know what line they are. It doesn't say. They come in this rose gold packaging, which is super freaking cute. I got the color Tempted Toffee, which is basically just a dark nude color. And these are really creamy and kind of sheer. I guess I didn't realize that because I'm not the kind of person that opens it and like swatches it on my hand and then somebody buys it and I feel like a piece of poop. This color is in Sultry Sienna. This mauve kind of dark rose color is the Sultry Sienna. And this dark nude color is the is the Tempting Toffee. Oh my gosh, these, that was not the last product. These are the last products. So I got these two NYX mattes lipsticks. Yeah, I got the color Alabama. It's like the perfect red color of life. And then I got the color natural. So this is natural and that is Alabama. Look at that freaking red color. Then I went, oh my gosh, I put in an order for Makeup Geek. Oh my God. Okay, so I didn't have any Makeup Geek shadows. It's weird. That's really, I can't talk obviously. I bought some colors that I heard were dupes for the Venus palette because I really wanted the Venus palette, but I'm not gonna be buying Lime Crime right now or maybe ever. I got a bunch of different colors. I'm not gonna go through every single color that I got, but I will list them down in the description box, every color that's in here. And then I got this really cute Leopard Z palette because I had to. So I did the did, no, I went, not even went. I was online and did my little VIB sale thing. Anyway, Sephora does their VIB sale and it's usually 20% off, this year was 15% off, so whatevs, I'll get over it. But I had some things in my cart that I was ready with my coupon code, I was ready to get on there and get. One of them was one that everybody has, and the only reason I was waiting on this palette was because, uh, why was I waiting on it? No reason, I don't have a reason why I was waiting on it. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Oh, I think maybe I was trying out, no? I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. You guys have probably seen this all over YouTube. Everyone's obsessed with it. I get it, now I get it. It is, I only used it, I just used it today because I literally just got this today in the mail. So I used this color right here. I didn't use any of the top ones, whoops, I forgot. Hopefully I will, as summer comes in, branch over to the other side of the bronzers. I probably won't ever get as dark as this guy ever in my life probably, but a girl can dream. Next, I had to get the Shade and Light Eye Palette, duh. 
So it is basically just a beautiful palette. I'm pretty sure all these shades are matte. I used it on my eyes today with a combination of these colors and that one perception color from the Stila Mind palette. I got the Kat Von D Hardogram blush and yeah, I looked at it and it had a little powder on the outside and I was like, oh no, please don't tell me that it's broken and I opened it and it was broken and my heart shattered just like the blush and that's what happened. So anyway, then I got another Kat Von D product. I know I'm telling you. They just had a lot of Kat Von D stuff that I wanted. But anyways, I did pick this up. It is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. This is always freaking sold out and I got it. I was like, yes! You know when you get something when it comes back in stock and you're like, I got it! I got it! I got it! It's like, you want something but you really didn't because you spent money on it. That kind of thing. That's what happened when I found this. And I'm wearing it on my lips today with the NYX Brown Lip Pencil. A couple other things I got were just little lip products. I don't know. So I got the Tarte Exfoliator, Lip Exfoliator. Uh, yeah, I pretty much love this. I used it today. I basically used all of these products today because I was so excited. Thumbs up if you do that. Thumbs up if you use all the products the day you get them, even if they don't go together, because that's what I do. So anyways, I used the Tarte Lip, I almost nip. That would be bad, the Nip Exfoliant, that would be really bad. No, it's a Tarte Lip Exfoliant, and this isn't a really harsh exfoliant, which I think could piss people off. They'd be like, this does not work. But I have really sensitive skin, and so I don't want anything that's like, roughing my stuff up. And then I had to pick this up because I don't know if you guys are fans of Nicole Guerrero, but I am. She always talks about this Christian Dior Creme de Rose. Creme de Rose, is that what it's called? It doesn't even, oh yeah, creme de rose, that is what it's called. And it's a lip balm and, oh my gosh, it smells like roses. And she used to be like, oh, I'm so obsessed because it smells like roses and I love the smell of roses. And I'm like, I love the smell of roses too, so let me smell it. It says it's a smoothing, plumping lip balm. And let's be real, people, nothing plumps your lips unless you go get surgery. Or you like stick your lips in like a plastic water bottle, which I've been seeing people do and I don't advise it because it looks like it gives people like purple blue lips and we're not doing that over here. We're just trying to overdraw them and keep them moisturized. Okay, so moving on to some things I found at Marshalls and Home Goods, and I found this Batiste dry shampoo there and I get this normally at Ulta, but it was only $5.99 there from $8. So I picked up two of these Cherry Batiste because the cherry is my favorite scent of life. Then I got this mermaid statue and it's white oh my gosh i just got like lipstick on her poor thing she's just a little mermaid statue so i went to pack sun before easter so this is a while ago but i only got a couple things i got this tie-dye dress that i wore in my lookbook already i wore it in my spring pastels or pastel edgy pastel lookbook or whatever and this is the freaking most comfortable dress and I like it because the neck is high as well and I'm really into that high neck thing going on so yeah there's that I got this I haven't even worn this yet this is a Brandy Melville it's kind of a baggy go figure because I love baggy shirts uh, I guess it's just like I don't know just a white t-shirt with these black stripes on the sleeves and like a that sporty thing going on right now then I went to Saks off Fifth, which is the Zach's Fifth Avenue outlet. Talked about this in my last haul that they have a lot of Wild Fox things and I'm obsessed with Wild Fox everything, especially their sweatshirts because they're my favorite things of life. So I went there just to see if they had anything new and they did and it's the mermaid line that Wild Fox did. Oh my gosh. And it's just a sweat, their sweatshirts that are super, super soft. And they run pretty big. This is an extra small, I believe. Yeah, pretty big. And it's got the, the shells over the little chesticle area. Isn't that hilarious? Okay, so then I picked out a few things from She Inside, and I feel like I've been seeing She Inside a lot, like on YouTube a lot lately. I picked out this striped long shirt dress kind of thing. I'm really into shirt dresses in general because I love wearing leggings, or even this one is long enough to wear actually as a dress and or like high need socks with tights and like I'm all about that. Okay, so another thing I picked up from She Inside was this 
floral romper that I'm really freaking obsessed with. This has a zipper in the back, which makes for a really nice fit on this romper. It doesn't make you look like one blob of a person with legs and arms, you know what I mean? So I feel like florals especially, you can add an edge to it, but I really like that you can, if you're a girly girl and you wanna wear pumps with this and you wanna just girl it out, go for it, my friend. But you can glam it out and then you can also grunge it out or edge it out, whatever you wanna call it. Went to Nordstrom Rack and picked something up. So I picked up this jacket and I'm like super obsessed with it. It is an army green kind of longer coat. So I felt I felt like when I was buying it that maybe these two would go together. I don't know, that's just my thoughts that the jacket and the romper would go together as this like edgy floral thing. I don't know, you tell me if you like them together and I will take your advice. I love Dolls Kill, it's my favorite freaking store and they had a festival sale. So anyways, I got these and I'm super freaking stoked. I'm like a platform world, like the spice girl inside of me is like, give me all the platforms girl, give me it all, yeah. Anyway, so I found these on Dolls Kill and oh my god, they are by TUK. They're like known for their creepers and they have all different designs of creepers. That was the longest haul of life and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're the type that has to use all your makeup right when you get it. Like, oh, green and red, and purple and blue all together on one eye. Oh, this bronzer, the darkest one in the palette. Let me just try it out. Yeah, that's me. If you're that person, give it a thumbs up because I really wanna see how many people do that because if I'm alone on this, I'm gonna be like, girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.